The next and last talk in this block of lightning talks is uh, by uh, Asha Rostam Lonfar on variant transforms loading VCF files into BigQuery for large scale data analysis. Awesome, thanks. Uh, can you hear me well? Uh, okay, uh, I'll hold the mic. Uh, yeah, so my name is Asha. I'm an engineer on the Google Cloud Healthcare and Life Sciences team, and here to talk about variant transforms, uh, which is a, a, an open source tool for loading VCF files into BigQuery for large scale data analysis. And so, what is BigQuery before I even continue? It's a highly scalable columnar storage data warehouse offered by uh, Google. Uh, that's fully managed and backed by Google data centers, so you take advantage of all of the speed and scale that comes with you know, multiple data centers that Google has. But to me, the two most advantages of BigQuery is its low cost, so you basically pay for what you pay for for you know, regular cloud storage, and you only pay for what you query for. There is no like, ongoing compute cost associated uh, with it. And the other advantage is that it supports standard SQL, which is, um, which enables a lot of powerful analysis, and I'll give an example towards the end of the talk. Uh, but the challenge is, so how do you get genomic variants into BigQuery? As you know, it, they are stored in uh, VCF files, which is um, essentially a tab-delimited text file, and it's not um, as easy for databases to understand. And so as a solution, we built an open source tool called Variant Transforms. Um, uh, for, for actually loading uh, these VCF files into BigQuery. And the source of truth is on GitHub. We do all of our development and everything, project planning, everything on GitHub in, in the open, and external contributions are definitely welcome. We have had a few of them already. Um, it's, it's powered by Apache Beam and Dataflow, so it's highly scalable. We have tested with you know, hundreds of thousands of files, millions of samples, and billions of records. Um, and the last point is that it's, it's very robust. So we realized as we launched uh, that not all the VCF files are according to spec, and we, we got a lot of um, issues around, you know, the tool can't actually handle them, and so we implemented a lot of robustness and auto-correctness in this. And as part of this, we actually built a scalable VCF validator tool. So even if you don't want to use, your, use this tool as a uh, export it to BigQuery, you can just use it as to validate your VCF files in a scalable manner and uh, find out about inconsistencies or uh, malform records. And this is a real example from 1000 Genomes uh, project. Um, so now, what is uh, this, this look like in a BigQuery table? This is basically an example table loading uh, platinum genomes, uh, six samples from it. It contains uh, GVCF files as well, so non-variant records. It has about 261 million rows. Uh, this is uh, kind of what the schema looks like. Um, basically, it's, it's uh, generated dynamically based on the input, and everything is properly typed. Um, and this is an example of what a row looks like. But basically, there is one row uh, for each variant, and all the uh, samples are nested under. And there's basically a one-to-one -one mapping of everything that's in a VCF file to everything that shows up in BigQuery. And from here, because BigQuery supports standard SQL, you can do queries like, OK, give me all the samples in chromosome exposition range as this, or all the samples with a later frequency less than 1%, et cetera. Uh, but I figured to give a to showcase kind of the, the power that you can do, this is an example query that infers the sex of individuals based on the heterozygosity rate of the X chromosome. And you know it runs in about three seconds and accurately predicts the uh, sex in this case for the six samples. Um, and then lastly, we recently added annotation support. So uh, if you run two of other open source tools like Web or SNPF, you can um, pre-annotate their VCF files, um, and then we parse the annotations and then uh, load them into properly structured uh, columns so that you can do queries like give me all the high-impact genes in uh, high-impact high variants in genes associated with breast cancer or something like that. Um, and yeah, that's it. Uh, feel free to go to our GitHub page for uh, roadmap and feature requests. And uh, yeah, we accept definitely external contributions as well. Thanks. <laughs>